Yo guys, I'm back with another Team of the Week review and I don't have much time today so I'm hoping this isn't going to be too rushed but a lot of silver players and a lot of good players actually. I don't know what most of them have done to deserve these informs but I can walk you through the things. Like I said, I've been really busy this week. The cat's playing with a plastic bag, if you can hear that in the background, then sorry about that. First up we got Tremel, the German Swansea keeper. It looks a pretty good silver actually. Plays in a good league, 74 overall as well, so he's probably going for quite a lot. 78 diving, 79 reflexes, 72 handling, 75 position in his best stats. Hi, cat. <laughs> right, you could probably hear it purring then. But, um, Silver centre back, Midjet Marik. Don't know what team that is, he's from Switzerland. Sport Lockeren, hoping I'm pronouncing that right in the Pro League, 60 pace, 63 shot, 73 defending, 74 heading, that's not bad stats on a silver, he looks pretty tall as well, or well, he is pretty tall I think from the centimetres. Second defender is Ivan Ramis from Wigan, 71 shot on a centre back's just insane, but 61 pace, 71 shot, covering that up, 74 passing, 59 dribbling, 82 defence, 79 heading, He's a pretty good card with the looks of it. He might actually be quite cheap as well. With any luck, he'll be really cheap. So the cat's really distracting as well, sorry. But um, yeah, he looks a really good card for us. Eh, the second Premier League player in this team so far. Last centre back in the starting 11, we've got Kader Mangin. Really tall centre back, 60 pace, 62 shot, 66 passing. 52 dribbling, 79 defending, and look at that heading, 87 heading. I think he's six foot three or four with that height, which kind of explains his low pace. But look at that heading stat; he'll be really good at jumping as well. And I'm guessing from that, he'll probably be pretty cheap as well. So we got the first midfielder, beastly silver. The first, uh, second silver, third. What am I talking about? There was centre back and goalkeeper that were both silvers. I'm surprised there's no goalkeeper in this week. Maybe the silver ones were better. Swansea obviously won't play in Vorm if Tremel's got an inform as well. So yeah, let's kick this Nog. Alloys Nog. Not even sure. Uh, 87 pace, 70 shot, which is really beastly. I'm surprised he's got such a good shot as well, being a right midfielder. 70 dribbling, 71 heading, 68 passing. He looks a really good silver, and that he will probably be very expensive. But I think that's a pro league team as well. Yeah, RA EC Mons in the pro league, plays for Cameroon International. Actually, he might not play for him, but he's from Cameroon. So yeah, next midfielder we have the first centre mid, Jack Wilshire. Recently come back from injury, already a beast. I actually love Wilshire. I'm not even an Arsenal fan, as a lot of you'll probably know. But I actually think he's an amazing player. Def uh, definitely one for the future, providing he gets no more injuries. Well, even if he does. Because he soon walked that injury off. I don't even know what he got. Something broke anyway, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> 78 pace, 70 shot, 86 passing, 85 dribbling, 74 defence, 64 heading. Even his um, non informs got a dangerous left foot on him, so hoping I can use this one. So, next midfield, also Premier League one. Frank Lampard's got two goals for Chelsea, I think. 62 base, 89 shot. That is just amazing. 85 passing, 79 dribbling, 72 defending, 75 heading back from a camp. So I presume he was playing a CDM in this game. But still scored twice, so that's even beastlier. So I actually want to use him as well, but I reckon we're going for quite a lot, at least like 200 grand. I'd say with those stats and having the reputation that Lampard does. Next up, Bale 93 pace, 84 shot, 85 passing, 87 dribbling. And then even good defending stats as well because he used to play left back. Absolute tank. He's second in form, I think, now. 
and yeah, it's just amazing. So we got Walcott who scored his hat trick, 96 pace, only 77 shots surprisingly when he got three goals. 75 passing, 82 dribbling, 96 pace is just actually I think that's just normal. I think he has I don't think he's gone up at all in pace. So yeah, he's got three goals though. And moving on to the other striker, Kenwin Jones scored against who was it? Was it Aston No Man City they were playing? Was it? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they were playing Man City. So 79 pace, 76 shot, 88 heading. He looks like one of those cross it in and he'll score a header player. Next striker, we got Dzeko from Man City. Presuming he scored. I'm, I don't actually know it finished. I know Zabaleta scored in that game. 74 pace, 85 shot, which is pretty beastly. 82 dribbling, 75 heading. He's actually really good at headers as well. I think he's six foot three. So that's pretty beastly. And I want to use him as well, but I think he'll be going for quite a bit. So I'm going to run through the subs really quick because I think I've already dragged on this video. To be fair, I think it's already over like not that one. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, six minutes. Yeah, I need to wrap this up because I don't want it to go over time. So first sub, silver goalkeeper for eh for Adelaide United. I think that is in the A League. Seventy six diving, seventy three reflexes. He looks average. To be fair, he's quite small as well. So centre back from Birmingham, we have Curtis Davis. He looks actually amazing. Seventy two pace on a silver centre back as long. Ah, as well as 76 defending and 82 on heading, that's pretty beastly. So next up, we have the first bronze, and there's three, surprisingly, in this team of the week. The first one is David Cotterill. I think that's how it's pronounced. I think that's Doncaster he plays for. Yeah, Doncaster League 1, Wales, right mid, 83 pace, you can't complain about that on a bronze, and... 68 shot, 68 dribble, 65 passing, it's a really good bronze and I think he'll be going for at least 50k. Next up we have Rojas, the second bronze, 88 pace on a bronze, it's just insane. 61 shot, 60 passing, 72 dribbling, you cannot complain about this guy. <laughs> he looks absolutely amazing. Plays for Melbourne, I think, in the A-League as well. Melbourne victory or Melb victory, yeah. From New Zealand, not Australia, like I was gonna say. He's from New Zealand. I don't think he'll be any in any New Zealand teams, but you could put him in a A League team, I guess. As well as that other inform the silver goalkeeper. So third to last player, Tavano. He actually looks like a really good player. 75 pace, 76 shot, 76 dribble, and from what I've heard as well, this guy's deserved more than this. He should have got this in form ages ago. I don't even know what team that is, I just looked as well. Serie B, M. Poly. From what I've heard, they should have got this ages ago, so I'm guessing he's been in pretty consistent form as well. He's getting a lot of goals, I'm guessing, when people have been saying that. So second to last player, Habibu. Habibu. Habib Habibu, <laughs> what a name, uh, 82 pace, 75 shot, that's really good on the silver as well, the 76 dribbling and 73 heading, he looks like a really good card, pretty tall as well, so he's a good all-rounder, a brilliant all-rounder actually for a silver, so yeah, he looks pretty good, I didn't actually say what team he was from, Zulta Varagem in the Pro League, that's Belgian League, plays for France. So last one we've got McGinn from Aberdeen, I think that is. Yeah, Aberdeen, SPL. He's from Northern Ireland. Bronze with 85 pace, 71 shot. That is just insane. And he's got 72 dribbling, 64 passing as well. So he has four stats over his overall rating, which is amazing. And he's got 85 pace, 71 shot. He looks really, 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 really good. 
so yeah that's going to wrap it up for this episode if you enjoyed then feel free to leave a like it's gone over 10 minutes but oh well i was nearly there so i'm gonna have to wrap this up quickly as always thanks for watching and i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys later bye